making an icon of an Egyptian pyramid in real world icon editor. Start by creating a new 3D object. Insert a rounded box. Then change its color to orange or yellow. It should resemble a single sandstone block. Set the specular color to black. Now resize the stone block. The goal is to set the coordinates of the corner to 0 0.5, 0 0.35 and 0 0.5 units. Using this size will save us some work later. Add an iterator in the variables section. For simplicity, set its name to A and its value to 5. The stone block is now drawn 5 times, but you cannot see them, because all 5 copies are at the same location. Find the transformation item and parameterize the first number of the translation. Change the expression to A, the name of our iterator. Now observe the 5 stone blocks. The iterator A has a different value in each iteration and therefore each stone block is at a different location. Add a second iterator and set its name to B and its value to 5. Now parameterize the third number, the one controlling the Z coordinate, the blue one. Set the expression to B. Now we have something like a base of a pyramid. Add a third iterator called C and set its value to 5 again. The pyramid is kind of symmetrical. Parameterizing the second number and setting its value to C does not seem to produce a correct result. That is because the height of the stone block is less than 1. We will need to multiply the value of C by the height of the stone block and that is 0.7. Not exactly a pyramid, more like a cube. Pyramid is sloped. We need to move the upper bricks. Change the first expression to A plus C times 0 0.5. Do the same with the next expression. Instead of B, use B plus C times 0 0.5. Our creation is starting to look like a pyramid, but there are some superfluous blocks we need to eliminate. To do that, parameterize the display item. We need an expression that is true for those blocks that should be visible and false for the others. Let's start with 8 is less than a.m minus C. With C rising with pyramid level, A is more and more limited by C. We have 5 blocks on the base, 4 on the second level, and 3 on the next, etc. More blocks need to be eliminated. The condition must be more restrictive. At end twice, and then B is less than b dot m minus c. That's it. We have a crude pyramid. Save the 3D object to a file called pyramid.u3d. Click on convert to image. Set the camera position in the lower window by dragging with left and right mouse buttons and by using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. In the model parameters panel you can change the number of blocks in the pyramid. I will use the default 5 blocks for my icon. In the upper window you may change light direction. 
increase size of the image for smoother large icon and then click on create icon from snapshot. Click OK and then again OK. Our icon is ready. It includes all the image sizes and color depths of a proper icon in Windows Vista or Windows 7. The small image is a bit unrecognizable. Perhaps it would be better to use less stone blocks for the small image format. 